Hey guys, Classic Gamer here. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VIII. I decided that I'd start in front of the church this time, so I can come in here and show you guys what's it like inside the church in this game. And I can talk to the nun over there and make a quick save here since I haven't saved since I have started recording. So, first things first, let's raid the place. Hmm. Ah, Fairbury. That's probably where we're at. I said before I didn't actually know what the town's name was. So. Ah, uh, I guess a long time ago a sage got here and was some um, great person. I wonder if that was Master Rylas, or maybe a descendant. Well, in any case, let's see what the rest of this place has to offer us before we talk to the, anyone else. Okay, a pot lid. That's actually supposed to be used as a shield. Probably give that to Yengus if he can equip it. Oh crap. Can't open that treasure chest. Yeah, some chests will actually be locked until we get the correct kind of key for them. So, for now, not a thing to worry about. Is that a... Looks like there's a note on the ground. Oh. Well, that's nifty. Found some kind of recipe for making a thief key. Well, we'll learn more about that later. Actually, I want to go ahead and see if I can equip that potlid to Yangus. Yep. Yes, we want to equip that now. Okay, there. Now we have extra defense and then attack, so, well, actually we don't have any extra attack yet, do we? Haven't found any good weapons. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that's a few days ago. That fire was still smoldering. You guys really need to step it up on your fire department. But, oh, fine, douchebag. We'll leave town as soon as our business here is done. Wouldn't want to stay here anyway, you're all jerks. Okay, so let's make our confession and save our game. Well, I suppose it doesn't actually matter which file I save over. The one with no time, or the one that isn't even started. Not a whole lot of difference there. Okay. Yes, we can intend on continuing, and let's go see Valentina now. Now, we've looted, I think, pretty much everything from this town. I may have missed one thing or another, but I don't really feel like going into more of these houses right now. So, house by the well. And if you remember, this is the door that was locked we couldn't get in last time. And apparently she passed out. Well, before we wake her up, let's raid her house. Because, you know, that's the heroic thing to do. Four gold? I'm never gonna be mad about picking up extra money. That's something that you'll find in Dragon Quest games, you grind for more than experience, is money. Let's see if we can't sneak upstairs. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure if the game was going to automatically set a scene, or what was going to happen if I came up here. And you don't even have to do all this now, but I want to. Because there'll be other times when you can get into this house. Monster behavior. Hmm. Oh, well, we'll keep that in mind and try and spend less time running around at night. Of course, it's night right now, so... That sounds like an awesome thing. Especially since we got kicked out of town and can't stay a night at the end. Ah, you came. E yeah, I'll leave that one alone. So sorry, I must have drifted off. How rude of me. 
I wanted to ask you a favor about this crystal ball. Shouldn't you ask your... Never mind. I was kind of... Sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Perhaps I should start from the beginning? You think? Of course. Let me explain. My father, Calda Rasha, was once a really famous fortune teller. Okay. Lost treasure, missing people. There was nothing the great Calda Rasha couldn't help people with. Hmm. But then one day, he lost his powers. All of a sudden, nothing he foretold turned out to be true anymore. Well, that sucks for him, and I suppose everyone else who visited him. It's probably because he stopped using a real crystal ball. This glass ball isn't... Oh. <gasps> Valentina, what is going on here? Well, they do say clothes make the man. How many times have I told you not to touch my crystal ball? What? Aren't you that boy from the pub? What brings you here? Yeah, never mind. I do not know what my daughter has asked you, but you can forget it. I do not need your help. I am fine as I am. I Doesn't am look like that way from here. Valentina, say your farewells and show our young visitor to the door. What was that? Couldn't hear you. Were you trying to be menacing? Lines are really quiet for some Sorry reason. About my father. But whatever he says, he's the one who's really suffering since he lost his powers. That's why I wanted to ask you this favor. Can you find him a crystal ball? One that's big enough to bring back his powers? I guess? I don't even know where to begin looking for one. Really? This is exactly how it all happened in my dream. So far, everything's come true. Yeah, uh, that's because you had a premonition. I also dreamt that there's a crystal ball hidden deep inside the cave, under the big waterfall to the south of town. Oh, well, that sounds like a ghost place as any look. I suppose only the daughter of the great Kaldarasha could know a thing like that. Hmm, maybe fortune telling runs in the family. Have any of you guys ever had premonitions like that? You know, you just dream about something and a couple weeks or months later it comes true. Not to be a weirdo, but that happens to me more frequently than I think it should. Like, it's, it's not any kind of, oh, I can see the future kind of thing. It's just a matter of probability. You know, there are only so many ways that events can go down. And eventually you'll think of one that will happen and you remember it. And then you could freak yourself out being like, Oh my god, I saw the future. Ah, PlayStation load times. The PlayStation 2 load times. I see. Magnificent. Oh God! Such devotion to her father. I'm impressed. Just how a daughter should be. He has a scary As face. Calderasha gets his powers back. There's nothing he can't find. Am I right? Probably. Then he'll kill two birds with one stone. If everything goes according to plan, we'll find out where that hateful Dol Magus is. Ah. Oh. I suppose we do have a good reason to do this, then, the don't time's we? Time's getting on. Uh, Medea and I will stay outside. That's the last time we set foot in a barbaric town like this. But you should spend the night at the inn and rest well, so that you're ready to take on the world tomorrow. In oh, morning, oh. We leave for the waterfall cave. Sounds like a good plan. And the game automatically puts you to bed. Wonder if it takes away our money. Not that I was keeping that good a track of how much we had anyway. Alright. Ah, so, before we set out, it's probably not a bad idea to invest in better equipment. 
so let's go ahead and try and find at least some kind of an upgrade. Hmm. Well, that leather hat's not too bad for the price. Then again, the Wayfarer's clothes only cost five gold more, and actually, you know, they get one more point of defense. Well, here's my plan. I'm gonna get this for the main character, and then I'm going to sell off his old clothing. Ah! Go back out. Hitting circle to exit, and apparently it's supposed to be triangle. Don't I have another pair of clothes that I can... Yep. Well, let's sell those because... I don't think there's anything I'll ever need them for. Maybe another recipe in the alchemy thing, but... Probably not. Even then, it couldn't be that good a recipe, could it? There we go. Now that everyone's got some better defense... The next thing that I need to do is head out into the world map and... Start killing the crap out of some enemies. And believe me, there's going to be a lot of that. I'm sure everyone in town says something new again, but uh, I don't particularly have any need to go talk to them. No, I didn't get lost, I'm just doing some shopping. So, waterfall caves to the south. And, yeah, the game's telling you right now, keep track of your vitals, because you'll probably, you know, have some problems before you can get to the waterfall cave. And there's one thing I want to do before I close out this video here, which isn't getting into more fights. So, we have another group of slangs. You can see how this time they're all in one big group? as it's indicated by the times three. Well, you can still choose different ones, unlike, uh, you know, like I said in previous Dragon Quest games. Or Dragon Warrior, if you may know them by that name. So that helps strategies, you know, planning things out, making sure you actually even out your damage better. Because generally, Yangus is going to be the big bruiser for the party, and, well, Homer here is going to be the all-rounded, middle-of-the-road type character. So, that's all we need to see over these slimes. And I'll probably show you guys the bestiary sometime. What I want to do is come all the way out here. Now you see that green guy there? With the yellow belly and big axe? Do not let him get you. Do not fight him, he will make you hurt. So have, here we have some bunny corns. They're, well, a bit faster and a lot stronger than slimes. Wow, they even have a lot more HP. I expected, you know, both characters together to be able to take out one of them. Oh, this battle's going wonderfully. See if Yangus can't take out one with two hits from himself. There. Homer at least got one. Nope. This guy's still gonna hold up. Okay. Oh good, Yangus is a level. Uh that's not exactly the best level up there ever, Yangus. Oh god, let's go. I don't know if that thing's begun running after me or not, but I I'm a little afraid to look. Let's take a little peek. Oh crap, he's totally chasing me. Yeah, if that guy gets you, run! Or else you will die. Man, these lips are kind of, you know, more of the same. Most of these monsters are fairly generic. I don't remember if it's the lips or another... Oh, well, here we go. Yeah, these guys have an attack that will force you to lose a turn. So, that's something to no, watch out for. It's not like you can do anything about it, though. And of course, they keep hitting Yangus, who should definitely be the better attacker of the two now. He's actually got to level up and uh, 
is naturally higher strength. Or naturally has higher strength. At least these things seem to have less HP than the bunny corns did. They also have a lot less XP. Now Homer has a level, and also only gets a little bit of HP. Eventually Homer's going to learn the heal spell, which is going to be incredibly helpful. Okay, that's all I want to do is get that treasure chest and run the hell away from here. That was, what, what did it say, a life acorn? Life acorns increase your maximum HP by a small amount. But, um, I'm not going to be using those until much, much later. Here we have, I think, probably the rest of the new enemies for the area. Candy cats are probably the least threatening of them, because they'll occasionally spend a turn not doing anything. Bunny corns we've already seen, and... I... Uh, I can't even begin to think how to pronounce this. Catechisms? Uh, they're probably... a about as dangerous as bunny corns. Soon here, I'm probably gonna want to think about healing. Oh, nice hit! So, I suppose I should actually go into a little more in depth on how, what the, all these different menu selections are. Abilities will be for things you learn by investing skill points. We can't do that yet. Items are what items the character has, and it is based exactly on that character's inventory. You can't pull items from the bag in a fight. And Psych Up is a way to suspend your turn to make another turn more powerful. I generally don't use it except for, well, in certain cases. Next turn I'm definitely gonna... here we need a heal. Or else Homer is going to die. Here, if I get lower the 10 HP right now, I should probably think about giving someone a medicinal herb. And since Homer is definitely the uh, weakest attacker of the two, it makes sense to leave them on him. And focus our attacks together. Man, these fights really take a while when uh, you don't have the best equipment in town, and you're still low level. Okay. There we go. Is that guy still chasing me? Nope. Thank God. Alright, well... At this point, I think I want to show you guys the battle records, which should have the, uh... Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we'll have the defeated monster list, also known as the bestiary. And hopefully in here we can... No, no, damn. I was hoping it would actually show us, like, you know, important things about monsters, like how much HP they have, or what spells they may cast. Oh well. So, for now, I just want to go back to town, and I'm probably going to spend quite a bit of time just running around here, and grinding up a few more levels, and try and get better equipment. And from that fight, Homer got to up to level 3. He was actually leveling faster than Yengus. And he finally got some MP, which means he's learned Heal. Oh, awesome, both characters leveled up. So, now that one of us actually has MP and can heal, I definitely want to go to the end. And I'm going to do some grinding between episodes, and next time, we'll spend more time exploring the countryside. There's a big map out there, and we can go around to a lot of places. So, Classic Homer signing out. I'll see you guys later.